Okay, I'm in charge. Yeah? That means you have to you have to do what I say. Look. Like always. Right? Okay. Alright. Do you wanna sound do you wanna be something cool? Do I should I introduce you with like a cool profession or something? No. Like The new Taylor Swifts. Okay. All right. Hello, and welcome to Badger BS. I'm Raz. This is Haley Moeller, also known as the young Taylor Swift, uh, long lost relatives of some sort. Is that correct? What? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if you're long-lost relatives? Yes. Oh. Well, we should probably figure that out before we, you know, tell the whole world, right? Okay. I am the Candy Bomber, if anybody's heard of that. There was a man from World War II that uh, brought candy to the kids on the other side of the Berlin Wall. Do you know what that is? It was a big wall that separated East Germany from West Germany. Right? Is that, is that right? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in fifth millionth grade. If there was that many grades, I'd probably drop out. Or die. Why? Because five million grades is a lot to go through. I'm in fifth grade. I don't know that yet. They called him Mr. Wiggle Wings. They called him Wiggle Wings because he would bring his airplane in well, one time he landed and they, they do their, their drops and they, who do you think you are? Touch my pumpkin like that. Because it was not straight. Hey, there's a light. Oh man, it doesn't work. You're getting me all distracted. Okay, so, and and they'd come and he, he made one drop, okay? They brought all these this food to the people. Okay. Okay. And uh, all the kids were reaching through the fence because they wanted candy. Or they wanted to, you know, they wanted to be a part of the action and everything like that. And he reached in his pockets and he couldn't find anything except for a piece of gum. And he gave the piece of gum to one kid. And the kid tore it in half, okay? And then gave the other half to another kid. And then they tore the paper off and then they handed it around and they all put the gum wrappers to their faces and they smelled it. It was pretty cool. So, a little bit of history and candy, so it's kind of a double whammy. Um, knowledgeable and sweets. So, pretty cool. What are you? I'm Haley. Oh, you're Haley. So, yep, that's what I am. We're we're getting ready for Halloween, actually. So, what is what does your family do to get ready for Halloween? I don't know. You don't know. What do you do for Halloween? What do you what do you like to do? Uh, decorate. Decorate. What do you decorate? Uh, porch in my room. And... Your room? You get to decorate your room? Yes. Do you put lights on it? No. What do you do? Just put a ghost in it. Just a ghost? Just yes. put a ghost in it. That makes it easy. Any spider webs? No. I don't like spider webs in my room. I figure. Not too many people like spider webs. Do you carve pumpkins? Yes. Do you carve one this year? Yes. It was a skull. A skull? Yes. A day of the dead skull. Sweet. Is it still alive or did it like get old and gross? I don't know. I I don't pay attention. You don't pay attention? Well, that's a that's a good lesson to learn early on. Take it from a pilot like me. But you missed your name. He's Raz. There you go. Yes. Solid. So, um, I asked you here because uh, Halloween, I think, is... Um, old people can do it. Young people can do it. Everyone can oh. do it. So I'm the old person and you can be the young person. Okay. So, what do you look How forward to? How old are you? Calm down. Calm down. I'm like... I don't know. 30? Whoa. Whoa, man. I'm in my, I'm, I'm, I'm eligible. I'm 22. 
Sure. I mean, if, if that sounds good. No, oh, 30. I like to ask the ladies, um, I like to guess the ladies' age first, and then I can tell them my age accordingly. <laughs> you don't know that. Yes, I do. How do you know that? Because I just know. <laughs> no, you're, you're making assumptions. You know what assuming does? Good. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so, um, this is one of my costumes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, you know, the candy bomber. I'm going to be, on actual Halloween day, I'm going to be uh, Diablo from Suicide Squad. What are you going to be? I'm going to be an 80s girl. An 80s girl? Yes. With like... No, no, no. Why not? You're gonna be an 80s girl. That's perfect because we're gonna do something today that involves makeup. Okay. okay. You're gonna give me a face and I'm gonna give you a face. All right, I'm trusting you. I'm putting power in your hands here. <gasps> Don't put power in my hands, I lost it. It's okay, everybody calm down. We're back. If we had a commercial break, that would've been the perfect time. Okay. But we don't. Can I trust you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you just saying that? No. <laughs> wow, your smile just got real big. <sighs> okay. And while we're doing it, we're gonna tell the scariest thing that has ever happened to us in our entire lives. Okay. Okay, so do you wanna put the face on first or tell the story first? Tell the story. All right, in that case, you have to do my face first then. Okay. This is your canvas. Make me beautiful. Mustaches are allowed. You can give me a mustache. You already have one. Thank you. But you can make it more pronounced because I can't grow black hair. Okay. Oh my goodness. You, you gotta tell your story too. Uh, is it working? It better be even. One day I was at Home Depot and, and I lost my dad because he just walked on. Ah, don't, ah, I can't do this. Okay. As a unibrow. <laughs> you have until the end of your story to draw my face and then it's time up. And then I get to draw on yours, and I can tell a really long story. Okay, yeah. and then I'm telling you, um, you got power right now. Not too many people can do this. And then oh, oh, and then oh, I just got lost. I don't that was know. the scariest day of your life. No, I don't know what is the scariest day of my life. Did you wet your pants? No. <laughs> okay, then it probably wasn't that scary. You ever has anybody jumped out at you? Yes, my mom. Yeah, tell me about one of those. Okay, so I was, I was, I, I was around the, I was going around the corner, and and, and I was getting some food. She went raw. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Just like. Did you want your pants there? No. Oh. oh no! I got black. And then, and then, and then, I don't know. Is it working? Yes. Do I look good? No. Do you think my girlfriend, which I have, will like me more? Girlfriend? I have long eyebrows. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, you're welcome. That's it? Yes. All right, cool. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna tell you a couple, but they're all intertwined, okay? I could also tell you some scarier, some scary stories in the lives of my friends. Did I come up close? Not Bloody Mary. No, that's weird. Okay, um, let's see. No ass No, 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 no. Yeah, come closer. Ready for this? Okay, well, so my dad's a bike rider, okay? He rides bicycles. And, oh, yeah, 
You and her look so cool. Make that face. Oh. Oh. So he rides bicycles, and we gotta give you a little bit more hair here. Here we go. Mm -mm. Your dad is gonna envy you. Um, he's riding bicycles, and and after riding a bike, um, specifically to work out and stuff, he gets he's really sweaty and gross, and it's really weird because he wears like that, like you know, the intense bike riding stuff, all the funky spandex and stuff and I'm coming up the stairs in Colorado where I was living at the time and and we had hard we had hard floors hard stairs and so I'm coming up the stairs and I'm going <laughs> taking two steps at a time because I'm ripped and I'm totally awesome and I was like <laughs> my dad heard that and so I opened the door right and he goes he goes bah! Yeah, just like that. And I go, <gasps> and I fall down the stairs. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> and I just work my way back down. It was fantastic. Let's see what else you do. I think you should close your eyes. Once again, my dad, um, he, uh, I was rollerblading at this time. We're gonna make you Egyptian. We should have given you a better mustache. Um, he was... He was driving the car and I was rollerblading out of our cul-de-sac in Colorado as well. And... I didn't see him coming. I'm, I'm pretty fast on rollerblading. I come out of the cul-de-sac and I turn the corner. And then he hits me. And I roll up on the hood. Just like, and that's not. I mean, I was scared. I was. I, I was like, I just got hit by a car. This is horrible. This is the first experience in my life. I'm gonna hit my car. And he. And then I look in the window, and you know what he's doing? Guess. He's laughing. <laughs> he's laughing at me. He's laughing at me because he hit me with the car, and he will deny that until the day he dies. But it's true because I'm telling it and now it's on YouTube. And that's what really happened. Hmm. We can give you antennas like no, no, no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You gotta trust me. Like a ladybug. I already did that to you, coffee canner. I, I don't know that I can't see. Look at that. Look good? I don't know. Let's see. Do we can't see ourselves, huh? I don't have a mirror. Man, I didn't even get the good aviators either. Dang! I see it. Look at that mustache. Maybe if I sit like this, it'll look really good. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Haley, for coming on the show. Do you want to sing one of your uh, new Taylor Swift songs no. since you're the young Taylor Swift? No. You sure? Mm, yep. Sure. I think you should sing it. No. Why not? Because. No. All right. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Badger BS.